Tell Mountain Style Chorus is super raw, like pretty natural, and it's got some big hits in it. When things go wrong here, it gets it gets real fast. We're like, well, let's hit up the zip line. Off to Europe, another long flight, a horrible time change. Traveling with a bunch of gear is always a pain. Got, you know, a big heavy bike box. Sometimes it's a little nerving getting on the plane and not knowing if your stuff's gonna show up, especially when you only have, like, you know, you arrive and it's pretty much practice the next day. Where's the best bed? I don't know. <laughs> Finally made it after 28 hours of traveling. Horses right out of our window, sunset, nice waterfall, food up the street, ping pong table, barbecue. It's good. <laughs> First couple days we were there is bad weather. Basically every year they do it, it's watching the forecast and watching the skies and just sometimes it, it limits practice. So kind of made the most of it and went out, got used to the mud a little bit. Hey, how's your rental car doing? Oh, you're right, you guys gotta take the bus. It's been kind of a couple of down days now of traveling. We're gonna go ride some trail, have some fun, go hike the hill after, check out the course. But yeah, just stoked to get a few laps in and warm up and wake up a bit. All right, let's go. It's a little muddy out here. We got some rain the last couple days, so dirt's just like a clay and basically standing on a 45 degree ice rink. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that dirt. I'm totally putting a rear spike on. It's nice to have like a spike tire in the back maybe. Hopefully it'll like catch and drifts and you're not just gonna keep spinning and spin out on the trail or slide out everywhere. Rain is a big factor. It's a hard one, but you know, that's that's what mountain biking is, I think. You know, you're out in the mountains, you're open to uh, any environment, really. Chattel Mountain Style Course is super raw, like pretty natural, and it's got some big hits in it. It's definitely like pretty core mountain biking. How do you hit this? <laughs> Ride down, and you just lily pad all the way through. They were working on this hip jump at the top after the new step down and they just needed some advice and all the riders were up there and we kind of just got them to elongate the lip a little bit more into the flat bottom. A lot of organizers like to kind of almost boss you around, but Sebi is just a man of all trades. He's, you know, he's out there getting dirty, digging on the course, but he's organizing the event at the same time. He's like always listening and makes it so much better to have someone like that yeah, behind the event. I think I kind of got this one. All these Euro bike racks are tripping me out, though, man. This is like the shadiest. <laughs> Trip off? No, 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 no. Smash, smash, smash. Me? No. <laughs> this is good. No. Why? No. Upside down? No. Yeah, you you want to work out, but Pepe. S'il vous plaît, mettez-le là-haut. Sinon, vous descendez avec le VTT, hein? Là-haut. Next one. Yeah, je m'en fous. Next one, on n'est pas que c'est normal. Là-haut. Okay. I don't, I don't like that. Ooh. Okay. Final. Thank you. Nice. You got it. That looks good. That's okay. I hope it falls off. I don't know what she was complaining about. With all this rain tonight, it might take a while for it to dry out tomorrow. Sunday's looking pretty shady, so they're gonna try and run the contest tomorrow is what I hear, but no one's ridden the course, so. Hopefully then it'll dry out and then we can uh, at least get like a pretty solid day of practice in before we uh, try and send her down the face. Day of the event, heading towards mountain. Sun's there and not a lot of time to get some practice. I was ripping the roads to get there. Inside of the corner a little too hard and got a nice flat. 
on the uh, on the rentals. Hey, how's your rental car doing? Oh, yeah, right. You guys got to take the bus. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's never a good time. It happens here and there, though, so good way to start out the morning. So, uh, you know, a little roadside repair and then back at it, up at the course now, letting some stuff dry out, and then we're going to get up there and start some practice. It's super wet, and all the flat bottoms are like mud, and there's a bunch of plywood down right now, which is slippery and sketchy, but it's drying out, so hopefully, like, you know, like we can just ride a bit, let it dry, and just smooth some stuff out before we start the contest. Basically, drag until it's wet. Yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. That was all of us. Collaborative effort right there. We started practicing sections, and basically the organizers were like, it's going to rain, we should do this event today. Not having any time to practice is pretty uh, pretty crazy, really. Just we had, We've traveled for like a day or two to get here, and they're windy and rainy for two days. Pretty tough. That's pretty nerving, like going into your run and knowing that you might only have one run and having to, you know, make it count. Wind on the back, in the same direction. Oh, it's tailwind. In your direction, okay, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nagy was, uh, he was running really good while we were there. He just had a mechanical on his first Dude, run. Look at Nagy's pedal, it's hot oh there. Oh my god. It's totally hot. What was it? It's crazy seeing people get up from that. It almost gives you confidence that like, you can hit the ground that hard and get up. He was less worried. <laughs> but it felt bad for him. But then as soon as he got up and kept riding, it was like, all right, sweet. It's not really looking at it, and then you ride, you feel comfortable, you get used to it. But when things go wrong here, it gets it gets real fast. But today, there were some people just weeding themselves, and no one really got hurt today. It was pretty cool. Went into my first run, like, not totally sure on what I wanted to do. C'est parti. It feels so good to get your first run out of the way, and I like, survived, didn't crash, got to run. Oh, that was next level. Downhill, bike, three, both those gnarly draws. Nick, which way? Come all the way to France, just <laughs> chill. Zinc and straight came out, they were shredding, you know, looking solid as always. Zinc had some big tricks. He had a bit of a bobble, so I'm sure if he got his run, he'd be biting on my heels for sure. Straight was probably like one of the fastest dudes down the mountain. The best rider needs uh, fluidity, aggressivity, choice of the line, and tricks. The best rider needs our speciality for win the Chatel Mountain style. I think like Brandon's second three drop when he like, I don't know, it was all side and his bike was drifting and like, I don't know how he rode away from that, but that was like one of the coolest things I know, I've ever seen. One of the cleanest runs I've seen in this, uh, this event. Chatel is my first big event for the year, and it's awesome to get a win and feel like I can actually compete with everybody, even though I, I missed a part of my year. And basically, the event got canceled the next day, so we're like, well, let's hit up the zip line, go have some fun, and supposedly it's like the world's highest zip line, and they go right over the course. We're gonna soar right over the course. And look really cool while we do it, too. Cool, okay. kid. Feel fast. <laughs> Ow. I, don't, I always wonder how you look cool on something stupid like that. You just grab your bar? Just, yeah. Maybe, just maybe that's the steeze right there. there. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> or are you pointed? I, I hate heights though. One liner. One liner. Oh, two liner. Oh. oh. Godspeed. <laughs> I'm excited for this. How far down is it? 300 meter. Yeah, mine's really loose. Dude, you went like to here at the top. Dude, there was like that nightmare I always have where I just keep falling forever. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was pretty fun. How much, how much do you weigh? Uh, 40? Can I keep this? The zip line, you know, it, it's a little intimidating, but uh, I thought it'd be scarier than it actually was. It was actually just really fun. Pretty full on month. It's going to be stressful, a lot going on, and, uh, you know, not a lot of rest in between events, so just lots of traveling, and hopefully I can make it to the end of all these events and get some good points out of it.